you know, a presentation from Dwayne Peets uh, on the evidence for the controlled demolition of three steel frame skyscrapers on September 11, 2000, on the iconic Twin Towers and World Trade Center Building 7, all of which collapsed completely to the ground and pulverized into dust on that day. Uh, Dwayne Heath is a retired NASA engineer and one of the leading members of Architects and Engineers for 9-11 Truth. Uh, so without further ado, uh, please give a round of applause for Dwayne Heath. Well, I'm delighted to be here. I think we enjoyed the time for conversation with people. I wanted to give it a architectural flavor. And that's why I thought I'd bring some pillars into it, some architectural items. Look at these pillars, key topics that I think are important to pay attention to as you look at the evidence and hear about it. The first one is symmetry. And it's basically that you can't have asymmetric forces like a plane hitting a building and have the destruction be totally symmetrical. Kind of an easy concept. Second one, there were massive members, whether they're girders or whether they're parts of the face of the building, massive building material members, steel. And these were thrown horizontally, these are out of the twin towers at very large speeds, made it a horizontal destruction, not a vertical collapse. The third point are for removal of structure. There was pure freefall in Building 7, here you hear about this. When you have pure freefall, the only way for the top of the building to be falling at the speed of gravity, acceleration of gravity, is for structure to abruptly get out of the way. So that structure had to be removed so that the building could fall free of iron and other thermite, it turns out, byproducts. There's actually quite a few byproducts that are found in the debris, but iron is the one that is the most, uh, most problematic to begin with. Melted metal, melted steel, we weren't sure. Turns out it's melted iron. So there's huge amounts of, of this element, iron, that really shouldn't have been there. And we'll go into some of the other elements as well, but if you just think about iron as kind of a key thing, because it points to the explosives that were involved. I'm calling it the centigrade tsunami. You can say larger temperatures than, than you can really explain, but it was by a huge amount. A thousand degrees centigrade, more than what the official explanation is. And so we'll get into what, what are the reasons, what is the evidence that said it was so much more. But just think of that as C or centigrade, pillar. Explosives in the remnants, actually in the dust, turned out to be unignited explosives. It turned out to be military grade explosives, very high tech. So each one of these pillars, <coughs> each one alone should be enough reason if there's really a, a major disconnect between what the evidence is showing and what the official reports are, that should be enough reason to have a new investigation. That's, that's really all I'm trying to get that point across. I'm not sure if you can see controlled demolition in that, that top piece there, but those six pillars hold up what turns out to be what actually happened, controlled demolition. I picked the order of the pillars, starting with kind of the largest concept first, the symmetry of, of the whole thing, and kind of march to smaller and smaller things. And we got to the sixth one, we were looking at the nanochemistry there. Again, all you have to do 
do is remember that word. Smear it. Uh, if anyone has trouble with that word, uh, maybe we rearrange the letters a little bit. Maybe you remember that. I think the six pillars provides a guide to narrowing in on what the key issues are. And so when you hear people talking about whatever it is they're arguing about, just think to yourself, is, is that a topic that fits within the, my suggestion? And I would say it's not really that complicated. I think the argument that it's just too complicated, as, as we heard in the beginning, uh, I think as more people understand, they know the key points, and they can see how that makes sense, that they can kind of counter people who say it's too complicated. You just say, well, no, it's not. And uh, go ahead and make your arguments. With that, the, the crime spillers, I'll invite you to listen to our panel, and we can answer questions.